know, I saw this little jet airplane down at Lakeland, Florida, and I was quite impressed with the performance. Uh, where did the idea come to put a jet engine on a Mitchell wing? Uh, it came from the fact that we already had the Mitchell sitting there, and my business is jet engines, and uh, we were trying to figure out whether to do a turboprop cove or do something in a pure jet. And since we already had the Mitchell sitting there, we decided to uh, go ahead and do the turbo jet because it was the quickest and simplest thing to do. We started in uh, been November last year and then finished here in the uh, mid part of February, so the first flight was. Now, the aircraft uh, with that engine on it, what kind of performance are you getting out of it then? Uh, normal cruise on it's about 55, uh, or I should say top end cruise, and uh, normal cruise is about 45. We're good if it's a good air quality day. I got three and a half gallons of fuel on board. I'm good for about 30 minutes. On an average, if I'm out punching around pretty hard, I'm good for about 20 minutes. The um, what kind of cost difference would I be looking at, fuel-wise and engine-wise, over say I, like this was originally piled what, with a 277 Rotax or no? This one had the uh, Zenoa G25. Okay. Uh, as far as the G25, it's a very good uh, engine to use. I never had any problems with it. In fact, I had a couple of those and never had a single problem with it. With that engine on board, I was good for four hours, basically, with those three and a half gallons, where this engine right here goes through it pretty fast. Uh, the thing is I can say about this is it's very smooth. There's no vibration at all. It's a different sound. Uh, it's more of a kind of a fun uh, play toy. The idea behind this is to take it up to altitude and shut down. Uh, and uh, the Ajet runs better at a higher altitude. Uh, the reasoning behind this is far, or the differences between the turbo uh, jet and the Recip engine, uh, I would just say mainly it's just for fun. Now, are you looking at designing something like this for a bigger airplane? Well, we have many options. We have several different engines. We start out basically at 26 horsepower and go uh, all the way up to. Uh, we got an engine for a YF22, which is basically you know an off version of a 117. Uh, we have the engine for that, and we got an F4 Phantom engine, and we got everything else from down from there uh, down to the lower end bottom of the uh, engines. 26 horse. Uh, we're looking at turbo uh, shaft, turbo jet, turbo prop engines. Uh, you want a C-130 Hercules engine? We can get you a C-130 Hercules engine. It just depends on what you want to do. You know, it's a, uh, we supply them basically as a hobbyist form. We don't recommend it or say it for aircraft use. It's all up to the uh, buyer on that end of what they want to do with it. We just supply the engines. With you uh, uh, in this business then, is this just sort of a lark and, and just to, to show that it can be done then? Well, on this end of the thing, it's just to uh, notify people that the engines are out there. We have them, uh, that they're available, and they're available uh, at a very reasonable cost. Uh, we sell this basic engine as a turbo shaft engine, which is 90 horsepower. 650 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPM, we sell that engine basically at $4,200. And uh, that's the engine that's on here now, or? It's the same engine, uh, except we use the gas producer. We drop the power turbine off it and just use the gas producer as a pure jet. Okay. Now, what would this engine here then uh, retail, and what kind of horsepower would you be putting out in it? Uh, this is rated, uh, according to the uh, engine specs on it, uh, at low end power, it's making 26 horsepower. At the higher end horsepower, it's making 32 horse. What kind of, what kind of thrust would that be? Uh, basically, it's about 80 pounds of thrust is what she is on the top end. And what kind of weight would you be talking then? Weighs 53 pounds. The fact is, this engine installation weighs the same as the Zenoa with the, the uh, drive on it uh, as we that we take, had taken off the airframe. We didn't do any modifications to the airframe as far as CG anything. The only thing we did on this was widen the engine mounts back here an inch and a half out is all we had to do to it. Uh, the engine weight actually it weighed the same. If somebody wanted to get more information on it, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, through our information pamphlets that we have on the engine, uh, on that end of it. Uh, telephone number is area code 317-776-2285. Thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.